Hi everyone, welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 32nd episode of this series. And today we have Roman here with us who has been recently placed at Accenture as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all students belonging to all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Roman and understand his experience interviewing for Accenture. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, thank you Jishnu for inviting me. So hey guys, uh, my name is Sheikh Roman Fardeen. I was born and brought up in the beautiful city of Jai, Kolkata. I'm pursuing my final year in VIT Chennai. Uh, my degree is B.Tech in C- Computer Science and Engineering. Uh, recently I'm placed for the AH role in Accenture. My technical niche is uh, full stack development and UX designing. Apart from that, I have uh, delved into blockchain development and AI ML. Okay. Uh, in my past time, I love to play badminton mm-hmm. and listen to Urdu poetry. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, sure. So Accenture came in the last uh, week of the August. Uh, okay. They started the application the first week of September, mm-hmm. and particularly they wanted uh, that every applicant applicants should have a PAN card. Mm, so okay. this was a differentiating factor. Mm. Aadhaar card was not uh, eligible. Okay. Mm. So in the third, uh, in the second week of uh, September, we had our tests. So for the Accenture, uh, we had four rounds. So the first test uh, comprised of two rounds itself. So the first round was the aptitude in that we had 90 questions okay. that should be solved within 90 minutes. Hmm. These questions uh, varied from uh, uh, quantitative aptitude, hmm. verbal reasoning, logical hmm. reasoning, hmm. pseudo codes, hmm. and uh, MS Office and uh, cloud networking. Okay. After that, uh, there was a five minutes uh, window where you will be notified whether you are eligible for the next okay. round or not. Hmm. Most of my friends were eligible. Hmm. Hardly, uh, there were few who was not eligible. Hmm. Basically, there was a cutoff. Hmm. Let's say fifty to sixty questions was the cutoff. Hmm. So, if you are able to manage all the, if you are able to solve most of the questions, hmm. you would be going to the uh, coding round. Hmm. So, this coding round uh, it comprised of two coding questions, hmm. which we had to solve either by using Java, hmm. C, CPP, Python, or .NET. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it was of forty-five minutes. And the, um, for me, uh, I got a string question and an array greedy question. Okay. Uh, if I had to talk about the uh, horizon of these questions, it mm-hmm. ranged from array, string, and also recursion, uh, the classical DB problems and mm-hmm. the classical backtracking problems. Okay. So one should uh, know the basics of recursion and the collections. Mm-hmm. One thing particularly about this uh, coding questions was that only two of the test cases were visible, hmm. and the number of hidden test cases was also made private. Okay. So you have to ensure that when you're solving the questions, you have to find out the edge cases such that uh, those are not missed. Hmm. Because hmm. many of my friends they did solve two of the questions, hmm. Hmm. but yet they were not selected for the third round. Okay. So hmm. the coding questions they were pretty uh, like lead code easy to medium, I would say not hmm. lead code hard, hmm. but you have to ensure that you have uh, given the most optimized code in the uh, during the test. Right. So after that, uh, within 10 minutes, I, I like I solved the question and uh, within 10 minutes, you will be notified that whether you are uh, eligible for the third round or not. Okay. So the first two rounds were elimination mm. rounds. Mm. Now coming to the third round, this was a communication round. This mm. was not a uh, uh, elimination round, but it was a mandatory round for the interview. Okay. So in this communication round, it was of 30 minutes hmm. uh, where uh, question, basically it was made of sections where in the first section, they will be giving you a sentence. You have to uh, speak it out. Okay. They were t- checking about your vocabulary, how hmm. you're speaking, what's hmm. your accent. Hmm. Hmm. Then uh, they jumble a few of the words and you have to make the sentence from the start. Okay. Then comprehension was given, oral comprehension. Hmm. So a small stanza would be provided hmm. that would be actually uh, s- spoken and you have to give the answers. Okay. And the last was a topic would be given to you hmm. and, and you will be given one minute to think hmm. about a topic hmm. and talk for one minute. Hmm. So this went for 30 minutes. Okay. And after that, you will be receiving a mail where you have to select the timings for the interview. Okay. So it started from 9.30 with a slot of 30 minutes. So 9, 9.30, 10, 10, 30, mm, 11, mm, 11, mm, 30. Mm. I had selected the slot for 10.30. Mm. So you'll be given the link, a uh, higher pro link. So the interview will join. Mm. The interview will join. And in that interview, this was a technical and HR interview for me. Okay. So 
in this interview he started with the classical uh, you know introduce yourself hmm. and after that he started with the resume grilling hmm. so he asked me explain two of your favorite projects that were mentioned in the resume hmm. i explained him two of the projects one was on full stack and one was on uh, Yeah, one was on hackathon which I made. Mm-hmm. Talking about the hackathon, so he asked me like, did you face any failures in during the hackathon while trying to build something? There would be some, uh, uh, you know, coding issues. So from this part, he asked me like, what did you find and how did you solve that? So I explained him the issues that I was facing mm-hmm. and how I solved it. Mm-hmm. Then he asked, I had two uh, internship experiences in my resume, so he asked me like, what did you build? So what was the tech stack on that? Mm-hmm. So this was a basic uh, technical uh, resume building, and mm. after that he went with the sim- sample, uh, you know, HR questions like so why Accenture mm. and why do you see yourself in the upcoming ten years? Mm. So this went around for twenty five minutes. Okay. And uh, with this, uh, the four uh, rounds were done for hacker, uh, for the Accenture. Mm. So the first uh, round, ha- first two rounds happened in the first week, and the communication and the technical interview happened in the second week. Okay. Okay. So, So after ten days, we got the results, hmm. uh, and finally, I was selected for the exam. Okay, okay, that's great. Congratulations again, and thank you for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any suggestions for your juniors, or anything that you'd like to share based on your experience? Yeah. So the first, the zeroth point would be that be patient. You know, you are in a place where filtered people are already over here. Hmm. You have experienced people who loves to uh, hmm. code. So, if you are unable to place at the first uh, company or the second mm. company, so don't dishearten yourself. Mm. Be patient. Practice DSA as much as possible. Mm. So, coming to the DSA, do practice DSA in an ordered format. So, you are following some form of sheet, either Strivers A to Z, mm. A to Z sheet, or Love Bubble sheet. Mm. Then, uh, if you are preparing for your core subjects, ensure that you have prepared it from interview bit, so you know how to question, how to make a question, mm. and how to answer them. Right. So uh, technical uh, core concepts should be very uh, much clear. Hmm. Then ensure that even if you are sitting for any of the OS, you are preparing for the technical uh, interview questions as well. Right. You never know, like hmm. uh, when you are giving an OA, so at the night you will be getting the result, uh, you, the result that are you selected for the next round or not, and the next day might be the interview. Hmm. So prepare for the interview round as well. So refer GFG articles. And even Jishnu has been putting many of the videos so far. For the past three years, he has been putting many videos for many companies. Hmm. Even I referred uh, Jishnu's video because uh, previously, uh, previous uh, Accenture, I did give an interview for Verizon and AstraZeneca. Okay. So I uh, I referred his videos and I got to know about the interview process over there as well. Hmm. So this would help you. So practice DSA, practice SQL questions as well. So uh, because you have to explore your horizon, don't look for only SD jobs. Look hmm. for analyst jobs as well because hmm. they are also high paying. Hmm. So do your DSA, SQL, core concepts, and uh, be prepared with your interview question and answer as well. Be prepared for the HR interview as well. So and be patient. Uh, you will get a good job for sure. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for all the suggestions. I'm sure it's going to help many people. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe. And let me know which company you would like next.